What will you do if you are asked to design a building in the form of an elephant? President's rule. Yeah. This Pierce Rao was the advisor at that time. He was a terrific uh, this, uh, person. He told the chief engineer that every district should have a civil station accommodating all government offices. That idea was his. So that way, he asked the chief engineer to prepare design and start work. Then chief engineer said, We have no architect to prepare design. <laughs> then they asked uh, Professor J.C. Alexander, who was, he is an architect engineer, uh, who, so with orientation to his architecture at that time in the government set of So he was appointed as architect PWD, and he was entrusted to the preparation of uh, designs for all civil stations. All engineers were afraid of him, you know. They were uh, afraid to meet him, like that, because he was an engineering college. He was teaching in the college. So yeah. most of them were his students. So if they make a minor mistake, he will fire them right and left. So people, the engineers in the PWD, they, when they come to the, his office, they were very, <laughs> very much afraid to meet. You tell the engineers, the building should come up, or you will go down. Professor J.C. Langston was a, an ambition to start architecture in Kerala. And the embassy started to enter. So he gathered some of the architects of working in government service. There was a discussion even before my arrival it happened and uh, finally they applied to Kerala University to start this course under the leadership of Professor J.C. Alex. At that time he was not professor, he the chief town planner and consulting artist to the government of Kerala. During 50s, late 50s or middle 50s, Professor J.C. Alexander was sent on deputation to learn architecture in Colorado University, US. And he was working with Harrison and Abramovich for about a year. 
while they were working on the UN building. And Rimbert has seen his dissertation, which he had made beautiful paint, painted drawings of historical buildings. And then he was very impressive as a person, as a teacher. He was a six footer and then spoke very speckless English. And he always dressed meticulously white, white dress white. and black shoes and bow tie and all those things. And he used to drive his car to the college, which was very rare. And even principals did not have a car. I'm a practical fellow. I want all the simplest solutions. I never wanted to confuse any drawing by forms or uh, by over decorative. No. One thing is sure. I I think I've been always following try bright light. I don't know. Then uh, I like uh, Marshall Brewer. Then I like. Uh, Walter Gopis, uh, whatever you may call it, it's an American style or something. It's a Western attitude. I could uh, never make a, a typical Kerala thing till I was nearly about five to six years in uh, J.C. Alexander's office. It was all straight lines, long spans. I like long spans. And I like uh, uh, buildings with minimum supports. It is a books of referee, library in the books and magazines of Gayer the Gondana, classic Gondana, Mr. Thormatu, did some sign of the Terry Dilla. Euro Siren. I went to work here like in the car now. I went to give her it. Natural letter. ജയചന്ദ്രസാറിൻ്റെ ആ ഒരു അപ്രോച്ച് അത് പക്ഷെ ഞങ്ങൾക്കൊക്കെ ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് ഇതുണ്ട് എപ്പോഴും സാറ് സാറിന് എപ്പോഴും ഇഷ്ടമുള്ള രണ്ട് കളർ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു ഒരു ബ്ലൂവും ഒരു ബ്രൗണും and design, he has excelled all these, you know, uh, people for in practice. Actually, he has been a, a model for all of us. The, what you learn from the architectural institutions is not only the basic prerequisite to do some good architecture. So, he has proved it. So, this has inspired us very much. And in fact, it, this was how he has initiated into this modernism in architecture. For example, our first de architectural design project was a 20 bedded hospital. So nobody knew how to start a course, the course, you know, how to teach first and then like that. So in that situation, Jachan was a great solace. A pure modernistic statement. Sri Chitra Tirunal's survey block, according to me, is one of the very good work done by Rosalind. The only thing which is slightly deviating from that thing is the entrance doors. Because uh, uh, in, in modernistic building, everything must be horizontal you know, or vertical. He has adopted a slightly inclined uh, uh, entrance port. If you go to old Kerala and some uh, junctions, you will see all those small shops, tea shops and other shops, thatched roof and all that. They, they call it tatti. Uh, I thought they wanted a restricted entry kind of meaning. I thought this was very appropriate to give a meaning. Not uh, every people has to come here because, you know, it's a mortuary at the 
basement level and canteen staff rooms and no, from the exterior itself it talks about the functions which uh, which is which is getting out inside so it, it is an honest statement according to me it's, it's one of the finest building uh, performance has designed the modernist leanings are so strong and that must be because of all the kind of uh, environment he was in jc alexander was again a very modernist believed in modernist principles and had clear functional structures and at that same time have open spaces and how you could integrate etc so uh, all those things you can see in his student projects also now we started from those bubble diagrams and all that step by step and the functional relationship of spaces and along with that so called architectural aspects you know like the facade the treatment the color and the to some extent the major shapes and forms and all that which happen along with the building very little little about the environment outside it looks as if we are designing in a desert like there is a sheet white sheet there is a desert nothing around so it was primarily how to make a building was the, the theme of the the course there is not much of theory in the whole course it was all practical i had certain commitments like making models for my junior batch because they are helped me for making models for my my thesis I, i was in the in the college in and around the college for some time then i saw an advertisement for an architect at kollam and united architects wanted some architects i went and joined them salary 150 rupees i won't say there was, there was no new house to be designed but old houses you know certain modifications and all that some interior uh, walls interior be designing and all that i was there for about 2 or 3 months and my father somehow found out that i am starving partly starving he came he <laughs> went took me home and then is when when jos ramesh babu started their firm they wanted somebody to help them so i went to calicut for no salary or nothing just for food then my one of my relatives suggested why don't i join fedo there is an architectural wing in fedo there was an architect called mr anand who was a chief architect in fedo so i joined as an apprentice in fedo for one year that is when this advertisement for lectureship in trivandrum cet came i applied and after some time you know, there was an interview and professor jesse alexander and ram samayar and all those those people were on the interview board and the question they i asked i don't know these things are relevant if you are asked to design a building like an elephant in the form of an elephant what will you do interesting question the, the interview board anyhow i got selected to two of us me and ashara tambaran we were selected in the same interview angana yana pinne 71 illa njangal 69 pass aayine 71 illana lecture aayittu vannu join cheyanu appo vannu join cheyana samayathu baaki it was dominated by the pwd aanu pashe ennalum theory onnu avara da parna avaru onnum theory onnum class padipichittilla njangal we were interested with the theory students um oru 12 15 athra ulla students okke undayirunnallo pashe pale students nu parna ഇന്നത്തെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസിനെ പോലെയല്ല എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു കുറേ കൂടെ ക്ലോസ് ആയിരുന്നു വീട് വീട്ടിലെയും പിള്ളേരുടെയും കാര്യത്തിനൊക്കെ കാര്യത്തെക്കാളും വളരെ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് കൊടുത്തിരുന്നു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് മൈ എൻ്റെ പിള്ളേരെക്കാളും എൻ്റെ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആണ് എൻ്റെ പിള്ളേരെന്ന് എപ്പോഴും പറയുന്ന ഒരു വാക്കിയായിരുന്നു ചിലപ്പോഴൊക്കെ നമുക്കും അതൊരു വിഷമം തോന്നുമായിരുന്നു ഈവൻ ഇൻ ഫാമിലി ലൈഫ് ആൻഡ് പിള്ളേർ അവരുടെ ആ ഓരോ സ്റ്റേജസിലും remember but still i remember you know that he used to make beautiful the pencil renderings you know uh, rough handmade papers that he used to press in drawings very meticulously beautifully done that's one of the things that i always uh, you know remember and enjoy thinking
At the postgraduate level, the design experience was very different. Architectural design was a good, when, especially when the good teachers come in with fresh ideas. Another thing which I, I always remember with thanks to Professor Vishwamitra is his ecology classes. First time we started being told that trees are the only independent creatures on the, in the universe. All other things, living beings, you know, dependent on trees, trees or plants. And it was very much impressive for me. So my thought just spilled over to approach to landscape architecture on one side and design on the other side. In my ideal concept, a building should gradually come growing like a tree or something like that. In the bottom, of, of course, should have some well-meaning seat on the, on the floor. This probably come from the traditional house which I, I was living in. The old house was not like this. It had verandas all around. The barrier between nature and sheltered space is not defined. You are always in, you are out, you are in because of the semi-open spaces within the house itself. This relationship with the environment could be easily perceived because I grew up in this house. This one particular project, that was a semester project with some small other projects. To develop a house, define its function or requirements without making any drawings, not even a sketch on the paper. So we started doing, or I started doing it with a cube, uh, a two-story height cube, and then putting in these uh, rooms and shapes into the, the thing. And then, of course, a living dining area, which is in double height, which is again you know, reflected in my, my house in Trivandrum. Once you know it, it has come through, it was a great feeling, really great feeling. 1976, August 17th, I was in September last year. I was in the Within three years, we were in the house. We were in ಎಲ್ಲಾರಿಗೂ <laughs> From the topological aspect, the, the pores is something like a, a, a portion which is protruding uh, into a great depression. Now, when, you, when you are looking at the pores, we feel that you now there is a great uh, uh, deep thing uh, there. But when you enter into that thing, you can see there are a flight of steps going up and going down. But um, if you look at the surface treatment, it is essentially modernistic. He tried to adopt something from Baker. Still, uh, um, he has given some kind of horizontal sunshades and all those things. This particular building, he has adopted a, a older style with a new materiality or material treatment to the building. I wanted the roof to project out. That was probably one of the act of negating modernism. But you know, that detail, we have drawn that, those details, but uh, PW never followed that. Teaching is a difficult thing, you know, unless you are abreast of information and principles and things like that. 
you should be at least a bit an inch above the level of the student, the best student. If it is not so, you cannot communicate effectively. People will not accept you. So, I always try to keep abreast of the academics and like informative aspect of the thing, reading books as well, which as they are available and interpreting things or understanding things in my own way to keep at least a small potential difference between the student and the teacher. My interaction with the women sir started with the reading group and through this is where I interacted on almost every month for nearly two years and each time we would pick a book and we would pick a book, discuss it in depth and he always encouraged me to since he always encouraged me to look at it critically, say, look and have a fun side of it also. Actually, I was in the studio and I was learning how to teach. First lesson I learned from the woman is we will never give a solution to any problem. It's only discussions and the discussions will continue as a chain to the, the answers and questions. In our curriculum for uh, GD ARC, uh, is history of architecture was very, very important. It was up to third year, very well we had to learn and we had to draw also the sketches of churches, temples, mosques, everything. By studying GD ARC, it helped me in teaching history of architecture of the world and India. I was following all those certain books which I was studying in Mumbai. When I came to the architecture department as a member of the faculty. One of the subjects which I started teaching was history of architecture. That was when I started studying history of architecture. So those days, uh, books were very less in the library. And uh, access to that kind, like those kind of uh, resources are also very much limited. So he took a class on art movement, where he has explained different uh, art movements, starting from Expressionism to Impressionism to Cubism, etc. And you mentioned something like uh, some of the great names uh, uh, under uh, Cubism. And uh, it, was, uh, it was trying to explain to us, see, look, uh, Cubism uh, is not about uh, cubes. It is something about making the whole image transparent. Um, all these things uh, was a great revelation to us. We also heard these words, but we couldn't understand uh, the meaning of those things. But later, when I become a teacher, when uh, I have gone through um, that uh, encyclopedia of architecture, that time I only I realized that, you know, uh, that one paragraph on cubism, he has made into a wonderful lecture. After I passed out in architecture, I have designed at least four or five houses for my cousins. All of them, you know, they, they meticulously followed this perimeter and auspicious perimeter and vastu and all those things. Naturally, I wanted to know what, what, what is traditional architecture, which people refuse to leave. Then we have brought some, some of these uh, stapadis to talk to the students. And in fact, they were talking to us also. And those diagrams and Vastu uh, Mandala and all, all those things. Without knowing uh, real meaning in those things, you know, we are just looking at them for the first time. And the first chance which I got uh, to change the syllabus, I put in Kerala architecture also there, so that we can teach something. Later in my practicing career, I found that this is, these details are very, very important. In fact, same elevation which is done on a blank sheet. It doesn't, it looks much different in the, on, the, on the ground, on the site. Peripheral lines, the edges, it matters very much in an architecture expression. That also come to, came to me during this period. During student years, I don't think there was any serious look into traditional buildings or traditional architecture. Uh, all those things were said, you know, to be not according to technology. When we started looking at these buildings, Swatmanapuram Palace and 
Srigai Rupta Madam and all that. Then we brought back something, some resp responses from that, what we have seen. Because that is when we started looking at what it exactly is, like Manishyalaya Chandrika. I read it for the first time after I became a lecturer. The new block of the GCDA building in Anna. And it was really during the vacation, it was really a uh, pleasure for us. And it's a learning experience in, when we are going to third year. We will do the uh, discussions uh, during evening time and that will be translated into design, uh, drawing and graphics and during date time and again the discussion will be there. We have made the models in, in hostels. Professor uh, came to hostels and we used to sit for a long time with the models and uh, things like that. Uh, detailing of the buildings with the flair of uh, regional context. That is very, very uh, evident in the design process. The CDA project was in the office come now, shopping complex, the farms are mud. They assembled a Kedugudra, just two, two towers, one that 11 storey and another 10 storey, side by side, like two Kedugudras. But unfortunately, the project did not take off. It has to be abandoned. Professor, <coughs> woman used to come and uh, he was one person um, um, who tries to bring in uh, new ideas in the studio. I don't know, uh, he took something, uh, he come to the class and tell us that, uh, you know, Paul Rudolph or uh, people like that, they have attempted this. Um, or uh, he may talk something about the uh, materiality of uh, the structure. You know, one should be honest. You know, you can use concrete, but uh, uh, use in this way, that way. So, of course, he was also concentrating on how to make. But uh, uh, he was telling us something about the uh, tectonics, I mean, the construction as an art, and the materiality of the uh, uh, architecture. That I think uh, is the deviation. Now, now I feel that it's the deviation from other teachers. You know, the importance of how to make the building was very much emphasized during those days. Later only we started asking what to make. Today we are asking why to make. Seventies, late seventies. None in the or my years, or my majority of the members of the church wanted to dismantle it and realize that is how it happened. And in a way, it was very difficult to do it without changing the roof because there was some ten feet veranda on both sides here and here. 
and then the church was small, the neighbor to the neighbor was small. So it was difficult to achieve the capacity. Plus, in my case, I was thoroughly influenced by modern architecture. Anything historical is not fit to be there. Works of famous modern architecture like Louis Kahn, Frank Lloyd Wright, his Casper Hahn. Marcel Brewer is just the influence on what I studied in, in the architecture school. And the Khans and the Kabuz here and all that, they were, you know, their architectural design approaches and all have very, you know, strong backing of geometry. Typical modernism goes after geometrical forms and all that. But I found that in many, many cases, variations, like in Japan, Japanese architecture, the variations are adopted by all major architects to suit their environment. What impressed me most about the LNCP building is how we enter or approach the entire complex. You enter at the porch and then you move to the left and right for various administrative and classroom sections. So I like the position of the stadium there, the stadium as the primary element of a sports building. And as you move in, uh, it, the spaces are very well articulated. Uh, the articulation of the overall form is reflected in all the inner smaller details, whether it is the fenestration that you see or the, the expression of the structural grid, also the sun shades, how they kind of give that cascading effect. And uh, there is also a lot of humor in the way the, where some of the elements are used, especially the grills. I also like the expression of structure, which, is, which I thought uh, was very modernist, where you express your structure distinct from the envelope or the infill material that you use. And uh, the detailing is very well done. So, especially where the staircases, the way the stair moves around, and the light falling into those spaces at different levels. And even when you come right on top to the terrace also you have viewing point to see what was happening in the stadium, etc. I suppose these are things that really make it very difficult to believe that this is a PWD building. K.J. Somaran and Associates in Ernakulam. That is the first firm in Kerala. We now are going to develop it. These students are now going to do it. To 70s or 70, I can say up to 80s. People were not aware of what is architecture, what is the duty of an architect, what is the relation between the architect and the people. They were very ignorant about it. Even they called the engineers architects. They called the contractors architects. It was very pitiable at that time. Yeah, at that time, the emphasis on site conditions, climate, mm. then our materials and techniques available. All those were the factors controlling the design. We evolved the form as it comes at that time, yeah. to be very frank. Prior to 50s, I don't know, there were uh, the popular family structure was something similar to the joint family structure. It changed to a nuclear family thing. And that has influenced the, the, the uh, sp spatial arrangement of houses. This uh, we had uh, discussed uh, in some of our uh, design studios, especially while designing the um, houses. I don't know, even though the whole of technical education was kind of new in the state. And uh, I don't know whether anybody has thought about the relationship between this education process and the society. And uh, the appreciation about uh, local architecture, local vernacular architecture was not very high. It's typically like uh, the attitude of the modernist society. 
if you compare it with the mohas ideas you know just history is crime everything up to then was to be demolished or something like that you get a clean slate like a desert you go back to the literature during that period in 60s what you call purogamana sahitya in the basic essence was a crash or smash the existing feudal system and setup and all that love stories and all that where you know like a lower caste person falls in love with a rich boy or something like that you know this purogamana sahitya is very much influential it was very much influential in the middle class of kerala it probably got an intellectual sponsorship that is maybe one of the reasons why you know we thought there was the, the past things are of no value culture is of no value typical of modern economy you know, like the syllabus was taken from iit kharagpur and put it there saying that everything is applicable everywhere exclusively for most of my work i use stone and mud and wood but the majority of my work is using brick because i think it's such a wonderful material you can do so many things with it so many variations and all of them can be truthful and honest and uh, solve problems in different ways i also always wondered how he felt about lori baker and whether he had an influence on his own work or not because if you uh, that time lori baker was a very strong force here and with so many government projects all going being done by him it was hard not to have been influenced by him one and if he was i don't see it i, I definitely don't see it nor is uh, unsa's work a very strong statement against that also yeah center for development studies in baker and that ennum samayari thamasikkuma kaanan povayirunnu a inspiration laan ee video vachathu to me Lori Baker's work is architecture because it responds to physical environment with forms and functions and all that. So I do not think that because it is low cost it is acceptable or it's more acceptable. As architecture it is interesting how he put together all those spaces in a beautifully artistic form. Especially architecture as an art that is what inspired me from Lori Baker's work not his low cost aspect. The old picture style which was used by lutens for his residences and uh, small buildings it has lot of similarity with baker's turrets and you know, sloping roofs and small windows and all that basically he was in lori baker was influenced by british vernacular architecture also keralathile lakshmi veedu paddathiyude oru program annathe housing minister aayirunna mn goyalan nayar aalochichu porthiki kondu vanna annathe bishop aayirunna മാർ ബെനഡിക് മാർ ഗ്രിഗോറിയസ് ആയിരുന്നു അദ്ദേഹം ലോറി ബേക്കറിനെ സമീപിച്ച് ഒരു വീട് രണ്ടായിരം രൂപയ്ക്ക് ഉണ്ടാക്കാനായിട്ട് പറയുകയും ബിഷപ്പ് ഹൗസിൻ്റെ മുമ്പിൽ ഒരു വീടുണ്ടാക്കാനായിട്ട് സ്ഥലവും പൈസയും കൊടുക്കുകയും ചെയ്തു ആൻഡ് ഹി മേഡ് സംതിങ് വെരി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം അതർ ടൈപ്സ് സംതിങ് ന്യൂ ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് അട്രാക്റ്റഡ് ദ ബിഷപ്പ് വെരി മച്ച് ആൻഡ് ദ ബിഷപ്പ് വാസ് വെരി വെരി സോഷ്യൽ മാൻ ഹി ആർ വെരി ഗുഡ് റിലേഷൻ വിത്ത് ദ ചീഫ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ ആൾസോ ആൻഡ് ചീഫ് മിനിസ്റ്റർ Achad Menon was a simple man in nature, like this type of design. He encouraged Lori Baker. Then Lori Baker was asked to start his mission of architecture. All of them, Lori Baker is an alternative architect. In the architecture theory, he is an architect. He is an architect. He is an architect. He is an architect. He has got a very good concept about evolving spaces and uh, developing spaces and using materials. The techniques also, he was very, very good at uh, using these bricks in a very innovative manner. But uh, the thing is, he was for a low-cost construction. He was saying that why should he spend so much money, waste everything yeah. for government buildings. He should build only, he need not plaster the building. He should even crowd on his enough for flooring. 
But uh, nowadays, will anybody appreciate that? Such and techniques have changed, new materials have come, your outlook has changed. See, to changing situations, you, an architect has to actually advise your client also. What you want is the problem. Or you want an auto rickshaw or a shower like car. Manishini Jeevi Kya Mbattin Tharthirullah Kettirangalana Avishya. Allahade Pala Pala Pum, Allengil Koodudil Poosh Ennallar Eithiri Kya Poyi Kya Nyal, Adha Avanavana Dhanya Arikin Doshan Chiyya. Along here, there is uh, a, another plastic box with a few holes in it. I think they put in things called floppies. And then above that, there is this sort of television set. They go down here, up they go, down they go, over there, down, up, up. <laughs> now, I think this is absolutely shocking as modern design. I think it's bad. अतः साधारण ना बीडब्ल्यूडी अलग लांग अतर तेल लोरे स्टाइल कंटेम्पररी आर्किटेक्चर इन्दु पर इन्दर स्टाइल ले इन्दु साधने वो एक डिजाइन उन्नड़ा का हाँ साधने तेरे वेंडर ने मेटीरियल ले बढ़ने लोग अतें ले इधर बाग अपना ऐलो कुंडूरिया अधि अधि चाहिए अन्नला एक अप्रोच आन उन्नड़ा है a revolutionary thinking, if you are a Purogamana Vadi Ana in the Paranjana, Ningle, Laurie Baker style, Aloit Kiani Padlo. Other established the no my. If you are thinking otherwise, Ningle, Matel level lake would do. Angan elder concerted effort unknown not a matter. Either Namala left Chindagadi, Allah, the Lambushuana. Muruan Satyal. Muruan, the pum left alkar, Muruan, a lingle political parties, other than accept each other in a lingle, other than promote each other in a lingle, e technology in a la Nikanda. Adil Uri Bagam Algal Chidir no Matre for Amateur. In the field of architecture, it was PWD architecture versus Lori Baker. That was the situation. There was nothing in between. Lori Baker was always a critic of those boxes and all that. So he was not, not a modernist in that sense. He was a romanticist in any sense, I would say. For me, it is a new thing, which I saw in his work as a romanticism. That is what inspired me more. So I wanted to go away, move away from modernism a little bit. When I started using this brick and plaster, those things, I always made it a point to cover the corners. That is where, you know, it chips off very easily. And uh, my, my own house was like that. That was one of the earlier buildings which I did in that particular way. And it stood for about 30 years, hardly 30 years. Then I had to plaster the whole thing out. Uh, not only the corners, even other parts were flaking off. Suppose we were building in Botswana or UK or any, those bricks would have stand for 100 years because those bricks are so good. Our bricks are so poor, you cannot use that way. It took 20 years for me to learn this thing. You know. So mine was a kind of path which is in between. Hybrid or I don't know, it's independent from both of them. So you will see some, some buildings, you know, some details similar to Lori Baker's detailing. At the same time, the structure and uh, the approach to fabric, building fabric was, I would say, my own. One 
one saying that a modern building should look a modern building there is there is no going away from the truth that it is a modern building the other said you know always asked for some kind of mercy to the old building building you know like that mercy side was boosted uh, up in me because you know somebody suggested that we will put a building right in front of the old building i can never <laughs> you cannot ever excuse me after uh, for accepting such a suggestion for any architect to build right next to a historical monument is the toughest project to do because where to place it at the same time in a different time period altogether where the material choice of material the functional requirements everything has changed for historical reference he kind of takes the color and also he, though he doesn't need those arches he makes a bold statement that he has used it and he really emphasizes it also so you can really see them all together and for another uh, part i liked is what he did to the roof he manages to camouflage all those services inside those steep roof one and uh, otherwise he has taken all the general requirements needed all the long corridors and rooms opening out so every all the spaces are fairly well ventilated etc there's no other drama happening inside that you see in the lncp building that you see here and where here he seems to have a play with the he is playing with the facade essentially making it very obvious that i am taking references here but i'm emphasizing the references i have taken also this would be one of the first post modern buildings that came up during that time but as everybody else uh, in that same time period the other architects were doing pure modernist work still he was actually looking at different ways in which you could connect a new building to an old one even a few years earlier to my retirement i had moved the managerial post here in kerala government like lbs director of lbs and joint director technical education etc so at that point of time i had limited involvement in designs and implementation of projects adu pole ana final achade lbs le strike um samaru mokka nadanondirunnappolum avane dto office le moonu joli cheyidondirunnappolum avasanam ivide pilla ella njangal parayavaru namakku ee joli venda just that time when i went to watson the work was mostly project management in very rare cases we were asked to design right from inception to construction stage but a lot of other projects which i also managed to see through the drawings and some of the photographs which he had in his portfolio where i felt that uh, some of the concerns that you see in a, a, which he has addressed in the lncp was not there at all or the fund that he had at the or trying to make a statement which you see in the pmg was totally missing and it became a monotonous ella kettrangal nammal deshikkunnam pole bright aayittu varanunnilla adanu jalapa and inspired designs which we do by compulsion but which always remains in our mind as a sore thumb i felt he was uh, still rooted deeply in modernist ideology and he hasn't been able to break out of it completely that is definitely sure i mean not that he hasn't attempted it but it has he has never been able to let go of that the age of the princess the age of uh, the ordinary people we have come back in a situation where you know, everyone is a prince everyone wants a palace i think this the architecture which you see in kerala now is overworked it has left its simplicity out and creating something which modernists wanted to create at their time every building was a kind of approach to a monument sitting nowhere the you know, kerala it i think has a a little advantage over anybody else in in architecture you can learn space beauty of the space and forms and all that from nature itself strange that we are not producing geniuses in architecture
My building, even if it is totally obscure, in whichever style, under the trees, behind the trees, away from the main road, and all that, I don't have any problem. I don't want to state myself as a great architect right in the middle of the city. in the architecture department building in CET. There are a number of courtyards where grown up black trees are standing. To someone who commented in the context that this is the only architecture department in the world which bear fruits, that is jackfruits. The day the exams were over, I went for Apple and there was only one seat vacant. When I occupied it, I found out Professor J.C. Alexander was occupying the next seat. He said, are you interested in joining my department, I have no choice because I know that at least minimum three papers he will be valuing. So yes sir, I can only say like that, I said like that, he said, uh, every time the film was over, he said, you come and join tomorrow. ಅದುಕಡೆಯಿಂದಲೇಕ್ಚರ್ಲೋಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ರೆಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಪ್ಪಿಟೆಕ್ಚರ್ಲೋಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ಸ್
conference somebody asked him this ne comes in what will you do because these holes are in the ground level there are point holes on the other side it will go out from that when asbestos was introduced on perhaps in kerala there are so many pocket trees in kerala if we use this asbestos if a pocket it falls what will happen and he said you can collect it from inside Cut it off.